Now guys, check this out. If you really want green, you could come in with a little food coloring. You have food coloring this whole time? Then why did you even put the melon liqueur in there? Like you just said the purpose of that melon liqueur was to make it green. Why did you put any of that if you're gonna put green food coloring there in the first place? What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's go check this out. Now we come in behind with some strawberries. Okay, okay, so we got that. Now we come in behind with some strawberry vodka. Okay. Why? This is redundant. You already put strawberries, why do you need to add strawberry vodka? Now you're following it up with some strawberry soda. More strawberry? What's... This is redundant. Why are you adding the same flavors over and over again? Like, what flavor is this thing contributing to this drink? Okay, look what we did there. Now notice I leave a little space. Why is he leaving a little bit of space? What comes next is the good stuff. Andre Champagne. $2,000 a bottle. Not properly chilled. It shouldn't pop that loud like that. The sparkling wine is room temperature. Andre, for the man who has everything but wants some more. Yeah, look at it. It's gonna turn flat within a few seconds. Now watch what I got here. I got a nice little scoop. Oh, look at that roll. Look at that roll. And you just wrap it on. Of course, he's gotta use his hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more. How many scoops of ice cream does this need? Like, this drink is already freaking huge. It's already full of calories. Are you gonna put four scoops of ice cream on there? Bang. Look at that, look at that. This is a strawberry syrup, okay? Holy How much more strawberry flavor do you need to add? Like, this is redundant. This is, does not contribute any more flavor to this. Like, why, why do you need to do this? Oh yeah. And now you hit it with a little straw down the side, just like so. And there you have- Yeah, of course there's one straw because this is meant for one person. And how are you gonna drink that? There's no spoon or anything to- Like, you're so expected to wait until all that ice cream melts before you can drink it? We got our crown apple! But before we break that up, we got apples, strawberries. Of course, it's tipsy bartender, so of course he's gonna make a mess. Oranges, okay, I'll slice this in here, because it is a sign green. More mess. Oranges, okay? I'll slice this in here, because it is a sangria. You gotta get all that good stuff in there, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you should get all that stuff in there. Not all over the tabletop. They're thirsty, because what they need is some apple whiskey, okay? So this- Why? You already have green apple in there. What additional flavor are you adding to this? Crown, those of you who don't know, Crown is from Canada, okay? Y'all thought this was American egg. Nope, it's from Canada home. Who would think it's from America? It literally says, Canadian on the bottle. Okay, we can give you some good flavors, peach and apple and vanilla, and you see how you like it. Next up, we got some sour apple. Why? This is redundant. You already added the Crown Royal apple to this. You're not adding any additional flavor. This is redundant. Pucker, okay? Because if you got Crown Apple, you need some sour apple pucker in there. Okay, that gun right around. Hold on, let me not try that. Okay, I feel like clean. That's gonna go under and come around and Impressive. Dude, he's seriously gonna put more liqueur than the base. This is gonna be so sweet. Kiddos, but no. We come in behind that, we got some Moscato, okay? Because if it's a- More sugar, check. Sangria, you need wine. They ain't tell you what kind of wine. You could technically do this with red wine, but hey, I think it's sexier if it's kind of green. You see? Now you're coming behind that with some apple juice, okay? We ain't done with alcohol yet. Are you serious? You're just adding more and more apple flavor. Nothing, what flavor profile are you trying to get at? Now, I come in behind with a little melon liqueur. Why? This adds a little flavoring, but I'm mainly using this for color, just to get it. Then use food coloring. It's all artificial. There's no, nothing natural in that liqueur that makes it green except for food coloring. If you just want to use the melon liqueur for color, why not just use food coloring? This flavor profile makes no sense. Nice little green in there, okay? So this thing could be a brownish And are you gonna even have room for ice here? This is gonna be a room temperature sangria. Green. Now guys, check this out. If you really want green, you could come in with a little food coloring. You have food coloring this whole time? Then why did you even put the melon liqueur in there? 
Like you just said the purpose of that melon core was to make it green. Why did you put any of that if you're gonna put green food coloring there in the first place? Okay, give this a little more. You're really gonna drink that with no ice? Oh, it looks That's what I'm talking, this is a nice Shrek green, right? Get a little apple in there. If this don't work, I use my hands. Okay, bang! And there you have it! The He's seriously gonna drink that room temperature sangria. Like that's how he meant it to be drunk. No ice. So not only is this sangria going to be warm, but at warmer temperatures, the perception of sweetness is gonna be a lot higher. So this is also gonna be really, really sweet. We got the goblet. But let's start off with a little bit of corn syrup, okay? So we gotta get some corn. Of course, it's tipsy bartender, so of course he's gonna rim with corn syrup. Like honestly, I've never seen any bartender rim using corn syrup before, except for him. Next up, we hit it with a little sour apple pucker. Sour apple pucker is little schnapps, okay? 15% off. We come behind that with a little bit of this right here, apple juice. Dude, this is so redundant. This is just like the other drink that we just saw. You have the same ingredients. You got Crown Royal Apple, you got Sour Apple Pucker and Apple Juice. Like what flavor profile are you trying to get at? There's only a splash of Crown Royal because we saw the way that he was pouring it. Same thing that happened with the Sour Apple Puckers. It's not a lot. So look, this drink is mostly gonna be apple juice. Put in a little bit of Mott's apple juice. Now we need some more green. So we coming behind here with this green apple soda. We using Jules. So this thing is just mostly juice and soda. There's no liquor in this. And once again, if you want to pour that for green, you used green food coloring earlier. Why not just use food coloring if that's the only reason why you're using this for? But if you can't find a green soda, you could use a green juice. It's gonna be thicker, it's gonna be different, okay? Not what the heck is a green juice? Like I said earlier, if you if that's the only reason why you're pouring this in and you're not even discerning the fact that one instance you said that it's okay to use juice to replace this soda, you obviously don't really care about the flavor profile of this soda. So why not just use food coloring? I'm gonna get some apple slices on top. So guys, check this out. We just do a little spread like so. We also got green apple candy. So we get the- Of course, it's a tipsy bartender video. So of course it's gonna be candy. Rings, and you wanna just put this right in your straw. You still want them to know it's a straw, but you want them to, you know? Dude, this drink is gonna be so sweet. I mean, it's mostly mixer. And now you're gonna put candy? Your palate is gonna get so destroyed that those apples are gonna taste like nothing, all right? Because both the candy and the drink itself is gonna be very, very sweet. It's going to overwhelm your taste sensors in your tongue. Now, we come behind that with a little bit of lemon lime soda, okay? Are you kidding me? He's gonna blend a carbonated beverage. Remember, you cannot blend a carbonated beverage because it's just gonna turn it flat. It's gonna make it pointless. If you wanna add carbonated beverages to anything blended or shaken, you put it after you blend it or shake it. Otherwise, it's just gonna end up flat. We went all in, whatever. Now, because I use red, I want red Skittles, you see? Why? This is completely redundant. You're just adding the same flavor. Like, why did you even add the powder? It doesn't add any more of the red Skittle flavor. Why add two of the same flavors together? Oh Lord. And why don't you use a bowl instead of putting that on that dirty table? And now you, what, he's gonna put it in the blender. This, this one's short on reds. So I got red. Guys, you know we putting these back in the back and we using them, right? So I know they've been on the table. And Honestly, like, does he have any sense of being like sanitation? He literally just said on camera that he's gonna put the unused candies back into the bag. And you guys going, oh, well, is he gonna throw those away? <laughs> yeah, we can throw them away. Okay, into the next drink. All right, now, put the stuff on. And he has a freaking Skittle trapped under the blender. How does he work? Like, you gotta keep everything organized. Like, don't make a mess and then just abandon it. Like, Let's watch this. Now watch this. There's one more trick up my little sleeve, homeboy. I got my Lewis bag here. I got my little Bam Bam here. Watch this. Get a couple cubes in here. You have a blender. Why do you need a Lewis bag? So the Lewis bag is meant to crush the ice, but it's meant for situations where you don't have a blender. So this is what they used to use in the olden times to crush ice. 
and also for certain bars to crush ice when they don't have any you know mechanical you know any machines that could do it for them so why is he using a loose bag if he already has a blender to crush the ice this is completely unnecessary and a waste of energy now you come in here Dude, this is so much sugar. I mean, that serving size alone is a lot. And this is on top of all those other Skittles that he added to the slushy portion of the drink. So let's apply that kind of science right here. So we start off with fresh oranges. You see what I'm saying? Because nothing says delicious. <sighs> of course, it's a tipsy bartender video. So of course he's gonna make a mess. It's just like orange. And then we come. And of course he's gonna pick up the mess and put it into the drink. The whole point of this is, you know, diversity is beautiful. Enough about that, now we get a little bit of vodka, okay? One, two, three, four. See, like, I'm like... Why is he doing that? If you move it up and down that, like that, it's gonna introduce bubbles into the pour spout. And it's gonna interrupt the flow. I mean, there's even a bartending technique where you pour multiple shots where you do that on purpose so you don't create a spill between the shot glasses. So there's no reason why he's bouncing it up like that. It's just making it take longer than it should. DJ, just rock in the club. Then my turntables up on the vodka, okay? And again, if you're gonna pour that much, why are you even using a pour spout? Just take it off. The purpose of the pour spout is to have a controlled flow and it's meant, you know, for free pouring. But if you're gonna pour a good amount of the bottle out like that, just take the pour spout out. Real men do the balls, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Tip tipsy martial arts. <laughs> there we go, there we go, okay? That's the good stuff, that's the good stuff, okay? That's the color one, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Go too high, too high. Is he gonna leave any room for ice? This is white Zinfandel. It's gonna be so sweet. Like, is he gonna make another room temperature sangria again? A little futuristic. I don't know. This kind of freaking me out, okay? Where are the straws? Well, we ain't get to the straw yet. We put in the strawberries first, okay? You don't need a straw because there's no ice. The purpose of a straw is so you don't get the ice through your teeth. And uh, there's no ice in here, so there's no reason to have a straw. Bingo. You see what we did there? And now, now homeboy, remember this giant straw that I just showed you all how to use? Now you could stick this in and you are classy in front of your... Once again, there's no ice. Like, why does he make these punch bowls and sangrias with no ice? This is going to be so gross. It's going to be warm, way too sweet. Starting with some nerds. Of course, is tipsy bartender. So not only is there gonna be candy, but of course he's also gonna be making a mess. Now, nah, homeboy, I come in with some hot water because we got to make some Jello. That's right. These nerds are jelloish. Got some blue raspberry Jello. Bingo. Really, the bag's ripped now. So now you have nerds and Jello powder all over your kitchen counter. <clears throat> I want to leave just a, I want to leave a little bit of space, like me. Of course, she's making a mess again. Now guys, I really don't know if this can work. You notice it's still kind of watery, like, well not watery, but it's kind of soft. Yeah, it's not ready. Right? So now I grab my little knife. I just separating the jello from, from the glass. I might be chunking it up, I don't know. This isn't the, uh, Yeah, why are you using such a big knife like that? Ideal way to do this, but there is no ideal way to do this because what we're doing has never been done before. We... Okay, now check this out. I can put this over like so. Don't look back. Wait a minute, he just did that just to put the jello on top of the nerds? Why didn't he just pour the warm jello mix on top and just let it set? on top of the nerds. Like this is a, an additional step that's completely not necessary. I want a little fish right in the middle here like so. Maybe like on the side there like so, right? So I put a little cut in there, grab my little fish. If you're gonna tear up all that jello like that, why did you even put it in those shot glasses if, it's, if you're gonna destroy the shape anyways? You could've just made a big one and just tear it up in a, you know, into different pieces of the jello and just spoon them in. If you're gonna just mutilate it like that. Rough water. I feel like I'm doing it. I feel like I'm doing it. Safety! Dude, if you don't have a steady hand, don't put your knife right next to you like that. Like, you could have knocked that down on the table and would have fell on your foot or something. And there you have it, the fish bowl jello shot. Which one should I take? Yeah, how are you gonna take that? There's like jello and there's a giant gummy 
and then you have the hard nerds on the bottom that are loose. They're not even embedded in that jello because he made it separately. So how are you gonna take the shot? Guess we'll have to find out. Cause I'm classy, okay? I ain't exactly sure how you eat this. Do you wanna use a spoon or what? Yeah, how do you eat it? That's the question I had too. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, stay tipsy. They didn't even show him eat it. He just threw it in his mouth and that was it. Oh my God. If you're gonna make these weird drinks, at least show people how to drink it or consume it. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.